If I could relive a day from my life, if I could relive a day from my life, if I could relive a day in my life, I wouldn't choose just one day. I wouldn't choose just one day. I wouldn't choose just one day. I would put together a series of moments. I would choose a collection of moments that were really awesome. That really, really sucked. Actually, I would. I'd pick a random Tuesday when I got to hold my niece, who was just 12 hours old, the day of a thousand rejection letters. I've always had sort of a love-hate relationship with Tuesdays. That look that my cat gets when he really, really wants me to make a lap so that he can sleep in it. That used to be the night that had the best swing dancing, meeting John Berriman. Those days where I wind up curled up in a fetal position on my bed, cr crying my eyes out, just wishing for it all to be over. I think my violin lessons used to be on Tuesdays also. Meeting Moby for the first time, or the second time, or the third, the day that my first cat died. But whenever I'm supposed to pick a random day of the week, I generally gravitate towards Tuesdays. Opening night of Angels in America in college when we got a standing ovation. So if I had to relive a specific day, I think I would pick a random Tuesday. That one birthday that I spent with my honorary sister where we had a picnic with a giant chocolate chip cookie and fed the ducks. The day I learned he didn't love me. Preferably one that I don't remember much about. That beautiful, beautiful, perfect morning in Central Park listening to the frames. The fight that made it clear to me that he didn't believe in me. Just to see what I missed the first time around. The very first rock concert that I went to, Oingo Boingo at the Metro. The kids bullying me in high school. Sander Kleinenberg at Red No. 5. If I could relive a day in my life, I'd pick a random Tuesday. I would smush all of these moments together into one day to remind myself that there's beauty everywhere and good things happen all the time. You just have to be open to them so that Maybe I could try again and do something a little bit better. And you have to realize that they may not be huge beautiful things. They may be little beautiful things, but even the little beautiful things can just absolutely melt your heart. So they're worth paying attention to. Or if for no other reason, I would put them all into one day to remind myself that they're fleeting moments and that things do get better. Because up or down, high or low, even some random Tuesday, I think one of the most amazing things about being human is that we get to feel things and experience things and try stuff and go through this whole mucky business of being alive. And how lucky am I that I've gotten to experience so many of them? I don't think it matters what day I would relive. I would relive any of them for the good for the bad, for the stuff that I don't remember. Mostly for the stuff that I don't remember. See you next week. That sounds really stupid. <laughs>